Welcome back to Inside Guelph. Well, it's health and wellness tips with Dr. Phil McAllister. Now we're talking water. Thanks for being here. Great to see you. Excellent. Good to see you. It's Did always you have a, good a pleasure. Long weekend? Beautiful. Isn't How do you it? like that weather? Eh? I love that weather. <laughs> and I stayed hydrated. Perfect. I kept your advice one glass of water every hour. Nice. That you shared with us last time. Pretty simple, isn't it? It is simple. I just good. need to remember not to do it when I'm sleeping. Yeah. It makes for an uncomfortable <laughs> night. Okay, so what are we talking uh, about? Water, water. Well, we, we got into the, the quantity aspect of water when we spoke last time about uh, water. What I want to look at today is the quality of water. As a, you know, we look at basically worst to best. You know, if we're looking at the quality, first thing we, we look at is tap water. You know, the, the biggest problem we have with tap water is the fact that it's highly chlorinated, lots of fluoride, lots of chemicals, you know, the, all, all kinds of things, PCBs, all kinds of things that our body just doesn't do well with. And there's a lot of work by, by our body to get rid of these toxins through our liver and our kidneys and everything as well. So, so if we can avoid tap water, ultimately we want to. Okay. So next best thing is going to bottled water. And of course, the biggest problem we're having with bottled water is the fact you know, it's a billion dollar industry and there's a lot of environmental disasters going on with the, the aspects of getting those water bottles put away somewhere. Right. So the, the element of bottled water causes a lot of problems because it's very costly, costly to transport. Environmentally, it's, it's a very bad thing for us. And there's no government regulations that are basically standardized in that bottled water so to make it safer, pure, more pure, Mm -hmm. and basically more, more drinkable. Like the tap water is. You got it. So yeah, we have regulations for a tap water. You got it. At least there are regulations with tap water. It's just, you know, to, to sanitize it, there's a lot of chemicals at it. Mm -hmm. so and also, sorry to cut you off, but bottled water, I'm always concerned about because I don't know how long that water has been sitting in a plastic it. container. You got it. Okay. So when we look at bottled water, a lot of the times bottled water, because of the, the lack of standardization, is just glorified tap water anyway. Mm -hmm. You're just paying tens of dollars per gallon for bottled water. So let's be lucky that uh, our cars don't run on bottled water. Yeah, they get no really kidding. expensive. And you hit on something, especially with the good weather coming and, and things heating up. When a, a bottle of water sits in something like a car or if you microwave water in plastic, one of the key elements that gets released from the plastic into the water is dioxin, which is a highly carcinogenic element. And it's been found in a lot of research to be high in the breast tissue of, of breast cancer patients. Oh. So for, for women especially, let's avoid the, the bottled water when it's sitting in the car and heated in any way. It's just okay. not good for us. Okay. So if we, if we go to the, the aspect of best case scenario, go to water filtration systems. And even here, it's a good, better, best scenario that there's your Brita's, you know, the, the simple ones, and then you get into the two-stage type of uh, water filtration systems, which are awesome. So the great thing about a water filtration system is it, it's, it's very economically uh, viable, it's very cheap, it's definitely very convenient, and environmentally, it's very friendly. Oh. So, so you're looking at about a penny per gallon. You're talking about putting a filtration into your kitchen sink. Say you got it. So you, okay. you can have the ones on top of the counter that connect mm -hmm. to the taps. You can have ones under the sinks. You can go to the whole, whole house type of filtration systems as okay. well. So, so there's lots of good information on our uh, backtobasics.ca website on, on different types of filtration systems. And the great thing again about a filtration system is the fact that you're going to get great taste in water. You're, you're, you're going to enjoy the water. Okay. And, and this is where a lot of times when people have great taste in water, they'll tend to drink more of it. Mm -hmm. I have reverse osmosis. Well, so and it's, it's amazing. a good start. And it tastes really good. You got it. I just worry that it takes the minerals that I need out of the tap water. That's that's the hardest part. Is you know we want to get that mineralization back in. So we sometimes need to add uh, something to to bring those minerals back in because those minerals are very essential for our body. You mean forward. like a supplement we would take? You got it. Okay. So there's different types of minerals that you can add into reverse osmosis water as well. Oh. To, to remineralize. Oh, I should so find out about that because I don't think it. we're doing that. So yeah, we can get more information on that. Okay. On our website. Oh, <laughs> on the website. And also, we wanted to talk about shower filtration, but I don't Toilet. know if we're going to have time. Oh. Yeah. So, we, yeah. Have we'll we have to get back to oh, that. We literally have 20 seconds. Okay. okay well, so definitely. Yeah. Key thing with shower filtration systems is you, you really want to put those filtration systems on the shower heads to get rid of the chlorine. Okay. You know, we'll have you back and do oh, that yeah. another we'll, time. We'll build on that. Thank you for our health and wellness tips. My pleasure, as always. Dr. Phil McAllister. We'll take a short break. Dr. Judith Colbert joining me out here after this short break.